Yes. 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 I was uh, had a chance to see something. Uh, uh, Bishop Tudor Bismarck said that uh, we put people in positions and places that don't know the difference between bread and cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I understand it. This is true. Mm -hmm. But in this house, mm -hmm. we should know the difference. Yeah. Come on. You guys, we should know. You get what I'm saying? We should know the difference. We should know that we have a measure. The measure is connected to our capacity to be influenced. And I shared on, on Sunday, teaching increases knowledge. Training increases skill. Equipment increases capacity. Equipment. So every, so every time that it happens, your capacity should enlarge. Yes. The reason why we're incapacitated mm -hmm. is because we have, we got a deaf, uh, what do they call it, dullness of hearing. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're tone deaf yeah. because we tune out the frequency from heaven mm -hmm. and we turn into another channel. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Amen. You can just easily be seen. Some folks have uh, the, the, the one-eyed monster on more than they have worship. Not in this church. I'm talking those that are watching. Turn that TV out. <laughs> Get start, start. Turn your face towards God. Get saved. Amen. He want to raise us up. Or should I say this? He wants to raise you up. To serve humanity. You're not there to get the attention. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. That's right. let, me, let me just share this there. There's one in my notes, but I think I need to share. I felt Dennis on me. <laughs> some, some of y'all are not vocal enough or engaged is because you're looking for honor mm -hmm. that, that's going to be wasted on you mm -hmm. and your talent. Let me put it this way. You probably witnessed to two folks in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. Nobody responded to your witnessing. Mm -hmm. So you didn't get the immediate gratification out of it. So you just turned a deaf ear to it. Mm -hmm. Because when you know that it's an assignment, mm -hmm. you're not really interested in the results. That's right. Huh? But when you're somewhere mingled up in it, and your emotional is going to holler, holler, holler. Jesus. <laughs> folks, I heard folks say, well, they won't understand our church. Mm. No, 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 no. Mm. They don't understand you. Amen. That Amen. represents our church. <laughs> because if you cared about them so much, you invite them yes. and then take time to explain it to them. Yes. Yes. It's easy. Easy stuff. Yeah. Even a caveman can get it. Uh, <laughs> when I found out that God wanted the body to be used and not just the, the headship or the leadership to be used, wow, that just, when I got out of prison, I was sitting in a church in Joliet and, and I was doing little things and, and I was loving on the pastor, the pastor was loving on me, but on the inside of me there was something crying out for more. And I heard about, I remember the church I went over and got deliverance people from when I was in prison. I said, man, and I watched people that wasn't ordained doing stuff that ordained folks do. Man, I said, let me get on that bandwagon. I don't care how far it is from the house. But I got a glimpse. See, some of us are still blind. We haven't gotten a glimpse yet. See, when you get tired of folks being in bondage, you get tired of seeing folks struggling, something just rises up. And it's no longer about you. Something you just say, you know what, enough is enough. I'm going to tell you, I know God is working with this message because I have never had as many folks walk up to me since I started this series. Out of nowhere. Today, two of them, I'll tell them prophet. Minding my business, going to do my honey to do list so I can have that great meal y'all seen on Facebook. <laughs> I was moving. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> people are talking, hey, Steve, hey, Steve, hey, hey. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to get it in. I'm trying to get it close. <laughs> so, the guy said, hey, hey, I know you. I said, hey, hey, what's going on? To make a long story short, he said, man, I remember you from somewhere. I said, maybe on Channel 6. I don't remember you coming to the church. He said, no, no, I'm somewhere else. I said, well, okay, well, praise God. And then I, I think he got to be mixed up with Mr. Gary Como anyway. They always do. So I said, uh, he said, it was on the hill. I said, that was Gary. <laughs> but I tell him. He said, man, he said, man, I, I, he, whatever he did, he really helped me at that time. I was going through, he had, freeze, he had frostbites or something on his hands. He said, it was, it was a blessing. He helped me out. He said, so where your church at again? I said, right up here. Right up, you know, about three or four blocks down. He said, oh, really? So I had a chance to minister to him and talk to him. Amen. He was sobering up. Amen. Made a promise. Then another guy, an older guy, was in the car. He overheard the conversation. He said, so where your church at? I said, right down the street. He said, I'll be there Sunday. Amen. So I know people want to know. You can't tell me. We just can't be afraid. Yes. When you understand your gift, your grace, then your measure increases. Yes. When you recognize what's on the inside of you, when you understand your ability and that divine imprint, that's what grace is. It empowers you. Yes. Grace says that I won't be bound by these shackles. No. I'm not going to just be a nominal Christian. I'm not just going to come to church, <laughs> sit and fill up notebooks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Y'all ain't got no room for them. Amen. Tapes and CDs. Hey, you going to leave it for another people. Our capacity has to change. Our mental capacity. That word capacity, I did a teaching on spiritual capacity. You need to go back over that. It's a specified condition. It's a, it means a capability. We got a capability on the inside of us. Yes. The Holy Spirit. We got a stature and a rank in the Spirit. Yes. You'll never grow in rank. Hmm. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Knowledge won't make you grow in rank. Come on. Yeah. Come on. No, it won't. Y'all sit here and get all the knowledge. You won't grow no rank in those in the spirit. Amen. You yes. you grow you grow in rank when you get that mentality that that, that uh, Apostle David shared with us. Yes. We talk about the ecclesia. When you make up that government, yes. I want to teach that thing for this house. So we got to get we got to understand we're ecclesia. Yes. <laughs> we don't look like everybody else. Yes. We're in the earth to execute the judgment that's written. Yes. We're in the earth. To represent the agenda of heaven. Yes. Therefore, I got to shake the dust. I got to come out of the dust realm. And start living from the, another, another realm. Yes. Don't mean you won't have problems. Yes. Paul said, I'm, I got tears. I'm weak. Yes. You know, some folks say, well, you can't confess that stuff. You better read 1 Corinthians 2. I tell everybody that. When they try to tell me, well, you can't confess. I say, well, Paul, I'm going to cry. Well, I, I start, you got to acknowledge your humanity. That's right. That's right. But nevertheless, yes. you got to ask God, say, God, put it in me. <laughs> Let that fire burn. Again. Thank you. Yes, you got to ask it. God, let it burn. I want my capacity to increase. And I, you know, you hear me quote this scripture all the time. And it said, it said in Ephesians 3.20, now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly, Above all that we ask to think according to the power that works in us, mm -hmm. the deficit to our capacity is our inability to ask to think correctly. Mm -hmm. The deficit to our capacity is our inability to ask or think correctly. That's why we got a deficit. We have no outreach. We have, we have no increase. Because we're not interested. I'm, I'm talking about the other church. <laughs> Not us. I tell you, never it's time to get interested. It is time to get interested. It is. It's time to come and sit and learn and say, God, I thank you for learning what I learned today. But you know what? Put me in a situation. This is the classroom. Put me in real life. This is the classroom. Say, Lord, put me in real life. Show me how I can apply what I just heard. God will. It'll put you in a situation so you can apply it. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. And he 
seed will offend your mind. Mm -hmm. The first time I did this teaching that Sunday, that Monday I went over to the hospital to see somebody. I had I seen two people that had a tank on them because they couldn't breathe. And the guy was having, he was huffing and puffing. He was trying to come up around. And he sat down and God told me, he said, ask him to pray for you. He said, can you pray for him? I said, where did it come from? <laughs> it was Pat. And y'all don't want to talk about that. Yeah. I was like, where did it come from? And I said, and I sat still and said, ask him to pray if you can pray for him. I said, okay. I said, sir. He was breathing real heavy. And then the devil said, your daddy died from that stuff. I said, oh, thank you for reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to pray for you? <laughs> thank you for reminding me. That's one thing I said, God, give me the anointing to heal. Yeah. And the very thing that, took, that was part of my dad's situation, I said, give me the anointing to heal that. Ain't supposed to make you go in the shell. Ain't supposed to make yeah. you get yeah. something that you supposed to rise yeah. up. Yeah. 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 It's holy indignation. Yeah. Yeah. Pray for him. He said he was feeling better. He could catch his breath. Yeah. God, that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to stop hiding our bunkers. Yeah. Start making full proof of the call that God has given us. Yeah. We've been through seminars and syllabuses. <laughs> We've had curriculums and teachings. We've had uh, oil slain on us. And I'm going to tell you, the reason why you don't feel anointed because you're not doing anything anointed. Mm -hmm. It ain't about him. It's because you're not doing nothing with it. Yes. Yes. I ain't got time, but uh, I'm going to stop here. I'm, I'm going to finish Sunday. I'll be done with this teaching Sunday because I want to go to Luke 15 and, and really go deep. I feel like a jitsu. Remember the jitsu night? 